Medical Misinformation Project. Should you lick your wounds? You've all probably gotten a paper cut before and instinctively raised your hand to your mouth to lick it, only to be chided and have your arm brought back down. This is common sense, isn't it? Your mouth is full of bacteria and putting a paper cut in your mouth will get it infected, right? Wrong. In this case, basic mammalian instinct trump, trumps common sense. Studies show the presence of a compound in saliva called histidine, a special protein that not only acts as a disinfectant, but also expedites the process of healing and injury. The salivary component is the reason wounds heal faster in the mouth than anywhere else. It is also the reason dogs or cats or any other mammal instinctively licks its wound when injured. What is histidine? Histidine is an antimicrobial and antifungal protein that is secreted into the human saliva by the parotid and submandibular salivary glands. Of the several forms of histidine, only histidine 1 and histidine 3 are found in humans. This peptide, primarily composed of basic amino acids, has little or no toxicity towards mammalian cells. The protein is part of the innate immune system of the human body and is responsible for maintaining homeostasis in the oral cavity. It also plays a role in wound healing and is vital in combating foreign invasive pathogens. The protein possesses a cationic charge due to its structure and has a high capability for ionic bonding, which allows it to kill the fungal species Candida albicans. Discovery of histidine. Histidine was first discovered by a group of scientists from the Netherlands in 1988. They hypothesized that saliva not only had the ability to com combat pathogens, but was also capable of healing. In the experiment, scientists obtained a sample of epithelial cells that lined the cheek and cultured them in petri dishes. They then created an artificial wound in each cell culture by scratching small pieces of the cells away. One cell culture was placed in an isotonic solution while the, other was placed, while the other was placed in human saliva. After a period of 16 hours, the scientists were able to observe that the cell culture pl placed in saliva had shown that the artificial wound had almost completely healed. They then concluded that saliva indeed had a constituent that improved healing. To determine the specific constituent, scientists, the scientists isolated each, each individual component of saliva and then tested each one for its curative abilities on the artificial wounds. Histidine was later identified as this curative compound. How does histidine promote healing? The main activities of histidine are antimicrobial and cell stimulating in nature. Histidine promotes cell spreading, cell adhesion, and migration, which are crucial steps in the process of re-epithelialization. Histidine 1, specifically, induces angiogenesis, or blood vessel formation. Future pharmaceutical uses. These findings open new alternatives to better understanding the biology underlying the differences between oral, skin, oral and skin wound healing, says Vincent A. Torres, associate professor at the Institute for Research in Dental Sciences. This research gives hope to many patients suffering from traumatic burns and other injuries, as well as various disorders, such as diabetes. The efficiency of histidine in healing and its capability to be mass-produced should allow it to become as popular as antibiotics and rubbing alcohol in the pharmaceutical market in the future. The protein has p the potential for therapeutic biodental applications and the development of synthetic hist histidines and uh, could help design better approaches to treatment of injuries and introduce novel skin healing methods. But for now, it just remains a magic component of saliva that can heal paper cuts.